Jeff Alter, uh, my son Cody and I are going to go uh, race some Baja 1000. We've put together a uh, fun group of old uh, surfers, a bunch of San Onofre guys, and uh, we're going to go down and uh, try and get this car 1,288 miles down the peninsula. Highlander is a tiny team really compared to uh, a hell of a lot of the other big teams. They've all got a lot of money. A lot of these guys I've known since I was a kid. My dad was friends with their families. Just a bunch of uh, old surf crew, you know, going racing. So it's kind of fun. We're not super serious. We're just going to go have a really good time. And the uh, worst case scenario, we'll get in the water at the end. Matt Drever, his dad, uh, was an old longboard surfer. So Matt got to drive Baja in an old VW microbus from the age of five years old. I'd like to do it because my friends are all doing it. It's a family thing and a team thing and a uh, bunch of guys I enjoy being with. All from originally San Clemente area and we're all buddies from high school and everything and have a great time surfing and running around and chasing the cars. It's built upon friendship really. That's the key to the whole thing. The intensity comes on race day when, you know, leading up to race day. The trip started out with contingency for the Baja 1000 with the Highlander racing team and we had the Salt Life Rainbow Sandals Hobie Surfboards car. It was really cool, kind of a dream of mine. It's been our aim to do the Baja 500 and do the Baja 1000 in November. We take everything with us. Chasing the race for four days all the way down to La Paz. We know a lot of places where good places to camp but you know the beach is our bed and the sea is our wash basin and uh, shower. That's all we ever do. We're able to spend some time out at uh, Scorpion Bay, as most people know, a great surf spot. Got to do some little surf exploring, got some great waves on my hobie board. Ended up uh, getting sandy in the water real quick and, and hung out for a little bit. The pedal? Let's feel the arm. Try that. Huh? There's no... Yeah, we never heard that part. We never heard anything. We were stuck in the mud. We almost finished, about 99 miles shy of the finish line. The car broke, but it was an awesome experience. It's unfortunate we didn't finish, and that was the part that's heartbreaking to us because finishing is everything. Came woke me up and said, dude, you got to come look at this. And the, the three roof bars were missing. They'd fallen out of the car. Jeff tried to blow apart the car and the uh, top of the frame coming off and roll cage. Everybody's sitting there on the side of the road and when you push that car on the trailer, man, that is a low, low point of everything. It is you knowing your race day is done. A $40 part. It happened really fast. You know, we were trying to get out, trying to get out, trying to get out. It didn't work, so I backed up. We got onto the sand ramps yeah. and the car wouldn't move. You know, hopefully we'll be back next year to tackle it one more time with the Hobie Salt Life and Rainbow Sandals cars. Next time we're going to get to the finish line. My Salt Life Adventure Mobile worked great. It's going to need quite a wash job. I'm leaning against just a million bugs. Salt Life people, Hobie, everybody uh, made it happen for us, Rainbow Sandals. The Highlander Racing Team was awesome to hang out with and pretty much it's all thanks to Salt Life, Rainbow Sandals and Hobie Surfboards. So all of us had a great time. Can't wait to do it again. <laughs>